Good morning, day two. South sister in all her glory. It's been an amazing morning so far. Camp life is coming back to life. Everything worked out well. Everything dried during the night. The camp was unmolested by bears or rodents. <laughs> Nothing bothered us. We slept like babies. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I've set up our little charging station. And the Osmo is getting ready to take a little time in the charging station. Get all charged up. It really works well. Really works well. We have neighbors. I don't know if they're up. But today we're going to hike. We're going to hike up the mountains. We're going up there. We're going way up there. It's so much fun. I wish you were here with us. I really do. You would love it. Okay. We're going to charge up. We're going to eat. So we are charged up. And then we're going to be off. Have a good one. Day two of our Camp Lake expedition. And we've come across what looks like nature's rock garden. Again, you'd have to be here to really appreciate this, but it's just breathtaking. This little spot halfway up this ridge, some percentage up this ridge, who knows? And it's just, we had to stop just because of it's so beautiful. I'll give you an idea of how far up we are. <laughs> There's the lake. That's where we started. South Sister. So it's just one amazing thing after another unfolds in front of us. And we're taking the time to enjoy it. We want to encourage you to take the time to enjoy it. Hiking is happiness. We can only hope you enjoy this as much as we do. And you follow us. But uh, I have to tell you, pretty, pretty freaking amazing. That's where we're headed, up to that little prominence right there so we can see what we can see. We've got a fair piece to climb yet. You wouldn't believe the deer tracks up here. Why they come up here, I don't know. Maybe they're just passing through. They know their way. We followed the game trail most of the way. You can see all these glacial erratics just scattered out around here when the glaciers receded. It's awe-inspiring to be here. Off we go. Let's see what's on the other side of that rise, Susan. Broken top. Of course, cell sister. So what we're planning is uh, we're going to make our way up, cross to this little island of rock, work our way up, cross to that prominence, follow the snow, and then up on that another drift, and then go across, see if we can't make it that way. Meanwhile, we'll be able to see what's behind this big terminal moraine right here. It's a beautiful country. Awe-inspiring. Being up in the mountains, you know you're alive. Lunch. Lunch spot.
the things that we'll do to have a nice lunch. And we call a nice lunch a cliff bar. What's up with that? And water. And we think we're eating at the Ritz. We are. This is pretty ritzy. Okay, so maybe it's not the Ritz. Maybe it's in the mountains. Here's our little place where we ate lunch. There's my little seat. Susie's little seat. We had a few touchy moments coming up. There was a little crux that we had to cross. Not bad though. Just gotta be cool, calm, collected. And I think a little insane. <laughs> a little insane. It's all good. After lunch, we'll continue our climb. Come on, Susan. Reach forward. That's a girl right there. Good girl, you mountain woman. Okay. <laughs> a little windier up here, eh? little calm behind this rock. You take shelter here when you can find it. This place is dynamic. There's no doubt about that. Middle sister. We hear somebody, we hear somebody yelling or voices, but we, for the life of us, we can't see them. It's pretty fun being up here. Pretty fun. Up into the mountains I go to lose my mind and find my soul. This is the place. Absolutely amazing. It's everything all at once. Peaceful, calm, yet very active. Serenity, danger. It's all here. Calm, windy. Absolutely amazing. And you just take it on its level. You take it as it gives it to you. And from our perspective, we don't tell it anything. We just say... May we have another, please. 
May we enjoy this and return home. That's the only thing we do. There is no ego here. There is no arrogance. Because if there were, it may be your last. This is very unforgiving land. You don't make more than one mistake here. Look at this jumble. We're going to pick our way through it. And we will, we will definitely give thanks when we are at the bottom. Look at all these rocks. Oh, well, there you go. See, they fell off. They've, they've cleaved. I think that's the word. Off of that rock prominence and rolled down and dispersed. Pretty cool looking. Pretty cool. This is so cool. rocks. Look at that one up there. I think the glacier, these are glacial erratics, yeah. Most of them are glacial erratics. When the glacier receded, it left these rocks. This one certainly didn't roll there. cool stuff so there's home we're on a huge snow drift <laughs> it's a big one we're not going to get any closer to the edge because we don't want to take the express so we're going to go down this way make our way and then we're going to go around the lake check out all the campsites Amazing day. Woo. Awesome stuff. So yeah, from camp we can see where we were. Just on the edge. Middle sister beyond. Somebody climbed up. Two guys climbed up today. We followed some of their trail. Pretty spectacular. We're almost thinking they'll drop by for tea on the way out. Pretty cool. So we've had lunch, ramen noodles. Susan is relaxing. We're letting some of the day go. This is day two here. We've been here three days. This is two full days that we were here camping. And uh, it's been good. It's been really good. You get into camp life. We're the only people here, by the way. We walked all the way around the lake when we came back. 
not a soul but us. So that's uh, interesting. So get things squared away. Get a little more water. Have the rest of the day relax. Get ready for tomorrow. We've got a nice little routine now. Charging phones. Cameras. Work hard, rest well. Live life. We have a nice campsite. We really like it. Susan and I are pretty lucky when it comes to things like this. Okay, signing off for now.